Welcome back DC, I'm Emma. And I'm Kara, and today is Monday, October 14th, and here's the news. Congratulations to the boys and girls soccer teams for winning the 9th District Soccer Tournament's over fall break. Congratulations to the Panthers golf team on their 9th place finish at the state golf tournament over fall break. Attention students, if you applied to be a part of NHS for the 2019-2020 school year, you should have received an email in your student account on Monday with your results. If your application was accepted, the induction ceremony will be held today at 6.30 p.m. in the media center. Send any questions to Mrs. Stone or Mrs. Millay. Poet, educator, and New York Times bestselling author Quaim Alexander will speak in the Nicely Conference Center on Thursday, October 17th in Bowling Green. Alexander is the author of the Newberry medal winning novel, The Crossover. If you would like to attend this free event, be sure to check your email for registration information from Ms. Wilkerson in the DC Media Center. Registration is limited. While the event is free, students will need to bring money for lunch on WKU's campus. Now stay tuned for this week's edition of Powers Points. DC family, I know that you guys are excited about coming to school today after having a week off and everybody's bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, anyway, I know you probably didn't get up real early over the break and some of you maybe slept in a little bit. So today might have been a little shock to you. But glad you're back. Glad you're here. Uh, I've got a quote for you today. Just a reminder. Um, this is by Don Miguel Ruiz. It says, speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip against others. Use the power of your word in the direction of love and truth. How true is that, huh? So it's so easy for us sometimes to get into uh, situations where we want to listen to gossip and want to find out the scoop on somebody, which may or may not be true, and then spread those uh, rumors. Uh, don't get into that. Make sure that when you speak, that you speak only truth that comes out of your mouth and that you speak to encourage other people not to put down. Uh, it's very important that we, we live by that, uh, especially here at school. Uh, a lot less issues for you and for other people, and we get a lot more productive when it comes to what's going on in the classroom. So hope everybody has a great week, and as always, stay classy, D.C. Attention all Key Club members, there will be a mandatory meeting on Tuesday, October 15th at 7.30 a.m. in room 120. Dues are $20 and will be due Friday, October 18th to Ms. McCurdy in room 120. Attention sophomores and juniors, PSAT sign-ups are available and guidance for any sophomore or junior. This is the only entrance to the National Merit Competition to compete for scholarships. These scores can also be used when applying for many junior programs. Bring a $17 check to guidance to sign up. Attention students, are you interested in a trip to Germany, Prague, and the Swiss Alps? See Ms. Head in room 136 for details. Attention juniors and seniors, applications for the U.S. Senate Youth Program are available in guidance. Two student leaders are chosen from each state to go on an all-expenses paid trip to Washington, D.C., as well as receive a $10,000 college scholarship. Interested students must hold an elected office in student government, class officers, student council officers, or in a civic organization. Attention all staff and students. Tomorrow will be an all-out red and white day. Here's what's happening at D.C. today. The Panthers debut football team is traveling to take on Owensboro Catholic starting at 6 o'clock p.m. Stay classy, D.C.